Hi, my name is Chuck Tuberville. I'm a tactical flight officer and pilot with the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department Air Support Unit. I truly enjoy our patrol mission. I take enormous satisfaction in assisting deputies and officers on the ground and making their circumstances safer than they might be without air support. From the air, we are able to locate suspects that would otherwise get away. The feeling of getting these suspects safely into custody and protecting the community is like no other. I wouldn't trade it for anything. While we're up there on patrol, we want to see and be seen. The bad guys think twice about committing a robbery or a burglary of a residence when they see the air support helicopter fly over the neighborhood. I've had the opportunity to work both sides of the cockpit, and I'll tell you the real rock star of the patrol mission is the tactical flight observer. He has the responsibility of running all the onboard mission equipment, while at the same time coordinating ground response and searching for suspects. There's a large amount of multitasking and crew coordination during a patrol response. Hi, I'm Deputy Larry Tona with the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department Metro Air Support Unit. One of the ways we assist the uh, units on the ground is by using some specialized equipment on the helicopters. Uh, one of those pieces of equipment is this uh, gimbal here uh, made by a company called FLIR. And what this has is a gimbal ball that's attached to the helicopter. And this gimbal ball has a day camera, a night vision camera, and a laser pointer which I can control with a handheld controller similar to that of a uh, modern gaming system. And I can point this camera to any specific target or uh, suspects that may be trying to flee from law enforcement. So when they are trying to get away, uh, I can track them based on the, the heat that their body is producing. And if they try and hide behind like a bush for say, uh, I can see them through the bush and make sure that they don't get away. So they can run, but they can't hide. During patrol operations, the tactical flight officer would normally sit on the left side of the helicopter and the pilot would sit on the right. Now the reason for that is when uh, we're responding to a certain scene or incident, uh, the pilot would put that scene location on the left side of the helicopter so we would fly in left-hand orbits so that the tactical flight officer could observe what's going on. And I could do that uh, with several different ways to eyeball the situation. I can also use uh, a set of uh, stabilized binoculars to help me uh, see uh, farther and better. And I could also point the camera to that certain location. And I can control the uh, camera with this handheld control system. And that camera system is actually tied into our moving map display, which I have here in front of me. And what that does, it has a map overlay of what the camera is seeing. That way, I can pinpoint a suspect's location right down to the physical address so I can direct law enforcement on the ground to that specific location. Vehicle is northbound course. Right. 222 units following Metro 1 has the pursuit. Follow at a safe distance. A vehicle pursuit is one of the most dangerous activities a law enforcement officer can engage in. Hello, I'm Sheriff Manuel Gonzalez. The presence of air support during a pursuit reduces some of the dangers and helps keep our citizens and community safe. The helicopter is often able to track the offender without ground units getting directly involved. When units are involved, air support is able to relieve them of some radio responsibilities by calling the pursuit as well as warn them of dangers ahead and suspect behavior. Our primary patrol district is the Albuquerque metro area. For the majority of our calls for service, we are able to respond within two minutes. That gives us the ability to witness crimes in progress, as well as provide pre-arrival surveillance for the deputies and officers on the ground. That way, they know exactly what to expect as they arrive on scene. We don't always respond to bad guys fleeing crimes. We have a lot of calls to search for young children who have wandered from their parents, or elderly men and women with dementia or Alzheimer's, who have left their homes or treatment facilities. Finding these at-risk individuals is one of the most critical, as well as one of the most rewarding aspects of patrol. I'm Larry Corrin. I'm a deputy, a pilot, and a tactical flight officer for Bernalillo County. As a law enforcement agency, we have a very large geographic area to cover. Within that geographic area, we serve and protect over a half a million people. Last year, the air unit responded to nearly 2,000 calls for service and helped to apprehend over 400 criminal offenders. I firmly believe that the county, the sheriff's department, the helicopters, 
the personnel, and most important, the relationship we have with other agencies and the community makes a significant impact on crime within Bernalillo County and surrounding areas. Fighting crime from the air is what we do. Our crew is passionate about their work and dedicated to helping others. Fighting crime from the air is yet another way we are serving from above.